Now it's time for a word from our sponsor, Frenchy Touring. Could you tell that was my voice? No, that was pretty good. Thank you. We are going on to our Bobblehead Tom and Bobblehead Frenchy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. We're doing it. Adelaide, December 3. Still some tickets left. That's this Friday. Arkabar Hotel. Yeah, that's where you grab a granny. Did you know that? That's like the red. Oh, really? That's yeah, funny. It's like, it's like a gilf place. I oh. thought it was like a la Arkabar. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's my Blacktown show. Sydney is December 9. Speaking of Sydney, at the Factory Theatre, it's a bite of man show. Going to be a bang. I get your tickets to that. Then we're going our country. Where are we going, Tom? We are going out to Albury on the uh, 10th of December, which will be awesome. Wagga Wagga on the 11th. And both those shows will sell out. So get your tickets fast. Mm-hmm. Newcastle, two shows have already sold out. We will add a third wow. in. Wow. Get your tickets quick for that if you want mm. to, to get it. Tom's mum will be there. She will. Not even a joke. So <laughs> grab a granny. Unibar, Wollongong, 17th of December. And then there's a stack of dates in 2022. So yep. head to frenchycomedy.com. Look them up. up. See ya. Yeah. Welcome to the Tom and Frenchy podcast. Yeah, welcome to the dog town, the dog pound. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Clark in your home in the Arvo in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we have a stack coming up in this show today. Uh, we've got our trending news, Alex's trending news, which he's going to share with us. We've got the best stories, the best riddles, the best games, and we've got uh, a sighting of a Batman tattoo on the lower back. Mm. Mm. Frenchy got a new tattoo. No, it's not mine. It's, it's actually I'm a teasing. Ben Affleck on his <laughs> shaft. <laughs> and we're also going to do some prank calls in our fucked segment of the week. We're going to oh, maybe yeah. some schoolies themes. Schoolies we themed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, funny yeah, as yeah. fuck. Well, All right, guys. Frenchy, to open us up, has made some uh, little songs for us because we still want you guys to send us in songs. We so if you've got an idea for a theme song, send it in to Tom and Frenchy. If you're a musician, if you've got no talent at all, but you've always wanted to. We don't care of the quality. Just a little opening jingle or a song, whatever you want. I mm. wanted to show how easy it was, so I took uh, about three and a half minutes out mm. of my day today and made you three songs. <laughs> um, and if you don't send any, one of these will be the opening jingle. Let's see what you think. Play number one, Alex. It's a Tom and Frenchy show. Yeah, Tom and Frenchy show. Big-headed pedo, skinny dick bitch. It's a Tom That was both you. <laughs> you were both them. No, there was a comma. Home, I'll waking you up. Tom and Frenchie is the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. Stuff of nightmares. I hope you never get to sleep again. We are going to infect your brain. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> this is a nightmare show. <laughs> well, I heard, nightmare I, song. I heard the little rhythm. It was like, Tom. I'm like, that's a, already a hawk. Like and it. then I got, like, it, as we do. It I almost bored. didn't sound like you. Were you lying down or something? <laughs> it sounded like a bit different. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's hear the second one. Welcome, children. It's time to learn. Two men shouldn't have a microphone. Producing a podcast. Two men shouldn't be allowed in society are speaking on the airwaves. Let's cancel them. Right now. Let's not know. cancel us. I don't know. Before they pee on some more homeless people. Don't oh, piss <laughs> on me. I'm a homeless man. Actually, keep going. I need the, the, the liquid in me. I'll drink it if I have to. Yeah. Tom and Frenchy show. Hope you enjoy the show with the Tom and Frenchy, Sergeant Peppers, the next oh. Beatles or Michael Jackson show. That's pretty good. I like that Thank one. Thank you, yeah. Well, I was thinking about the skit where uh, we didn't actually pee on the homeless people, but well, we, we pretended you, pret- you were the homeless person. Yeah, yeah so. that was weird. So that by proxy, you encourage people to pee on homeless by pretending to be homeless. Yeah, I encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, see the And third. then the last one. I think I did it properly. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Tom and Frenchy, Tom and Frenchy, Tom and Frenchy. One's got a big head, one's got a big nut, big head, big nut, bringing you all the audio love. It's Tom. Yeah. And Frenchy. It's like you'd hear this. Going on radio. to tug each other off after the podcast, but first listen to them. Have some jokes and try please don't cancel us. 
Yeah, I covered the cancelling because I did start yeah, to nice. feel bad. I was like, what if they actually do just be like, Tom Frenchie told us to cancel us. <laughs> um, there you go, guys. That's it's beautiful. not hard to make a, a yeah. fucking... Send them through send whatever them through. social media. We'll find it. Uh, Tom and Frenchie on we're most a, things. We're a very interactive podcast now. Mm. I don't know if you've, been, if you've been following from the start. Uh, most episodes we would say things. Mm. Yeah, send us this. We'll read it out. And then we forget. We would forget. Mm. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't like, ah, joke's on them. They're going to take time out of their day. Yeah. We just forgot. we got a producer, Alex, now, producer Tom, mm. and Lazy Frenchie. So one of us <laughs> will remember. <laughs> Definitely Alex. <laughs> I think that's the best bet. All right, yeah. guys. Um, what are we getting into? What did you get up to on the weekend, Frenchie? Oh, let's start with you. We always start with me. I want to start with you, oh, Tom. Oh, thank you. Tell us about your life. How How's Omnicron affected it? Not much yet. Um, <laughs> I was already a bit concerned about going to Africa because of the AIDS. <laughs> oh, no, that's like the least worst thing to yeah. come out of Africa. And like, I don't know if Omnicrom um, like gets transmitted through sex, so I'd probably be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, but like, it's fucking bullshit how Africa got stitched up. with like, oh, good on you, Africa, giving us the Omnicron. It's all from Wuhan. Oh, Do you all, not understand? Yeah. You can't it's all blame Africa shit. for that. Blame Africa. <laughs> What's that song say? Do Africa? you have your Omnicron? Um, Did you, you get your shots? shots? Yeah, they were going to call it... Um, my brother sent Omnicron. me this article where they were going to call it uh, XI. Ooh. Because it's like something to do with the virus. Did you see that too, Alex? Isn't that um, Elon Musk's kid's name? <laughs> XI or some shit <laughs> Yeah XI um, Apple sign Fucking um, Space bar No but then they didn't call it Because it's believed to be Because the Chinese uh, Dictator's name Is X- XI That's his first name oh. Zai How do you say it? Zai probably Everyone have a guess I'm going to say Zai Z C C, 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 yeah. C, that's Spanish. So it's, I thought it was, it's Greek. I thought it was Greek. Okay, so they were doing it because it was like a Greek word for some sort of African virus. Mm. But then like they're like, oh, let's not call it that because the Chinese uh, emperor will kill us all. Yeah, fair enough. No, nah, fuck him. No, he's going to get us. We should have called it the Winnie the Pooh virus. Really t- tweaked him. Why? Because he can't... He cancelled Winnie the Pooh in China. Oh, really? Because people said he looked like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't we, know that. We talked about it on the podcast. I didn't listen. <laughs> I absolutely did not listen to that. That's the first I've heard it properly. <laughs> so, Omnicron's uh, might be here yet, but it didn't affect your weekend. What did you no. get up to, Thomas? Um, I'm doing a, I was doing a few shows, luckily, because I was like, oh, I should do some um, shows to prepare for Frenchie for the and tour. Open, open the tour. Um, but yeah, luckily I did two shows Friday and Saturday at a new room, um, that Rory was hosting and Rory, he was on the podcast, Rory Lowe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he loves a drink. You got that, you got that vibe. The Geordie Shaw vibe. Yeah. Yeah. He loves a drink and, um, start off the show with a, uh, shot. Mm. Everyone has to have a shot. Okay. But he's, he's already had a few. Oh yeah. And (laughs) he just kept going throughout the night and towards the end of the show, um, his friend, another comedian, Alex, was performing on stage and he kept running in like a hype man and calling this one guy in the audience a little bitch. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if that's the best marketing tactic. He'd just run in and go, little bitch, and point at this like old man. Was Were people laughing? Yeah. It was, <laughs> I felt, felt like it was one of those laughs where you're like, what is he doing? Like, it's funny because he's unhinged. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the second show, there was like these, there was this Aussie lady to the kind of right of the stage, this kind of, she was a bit chunkier, mm. and then she was with her like skinny Irish friend. Okay, so we and have a, a chunky Kit Kat and the traditional. Yep. <laughs> and he um, made reference that she looked like Adele, and then as he got drunker, he started making more fat calls. Oh no, Rory. And he said she looks like a before and after. <laughs> and the lady picked up her back and left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was she, so was she in the front? She was in the front, but like kind of in the dark in the side. Yeah, that's... <laughs> but she was fucking talking and shit. Oh, like, well then fuck her. Yeah. No, you did, you got to say that. I thought she was just sitting was, uh, innocently minding my own biz- her own she business. Was kind of, she wasn't, having, she wasn't having heckling a, or talking to someone else. She was more talking part of the show. Oh, what? He would ask a question. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't oh, that bad. Oh, so she wasn't talking over him. She was Not like, really. pass me the lasagna. No, 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 no. 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 
No. He okay. Well, yeah. They're not. So and that's just the a, thing. You was, don't. Yeah. That's a UA. That's called a UA. An unprovoked attack. Mm. He just threw that out at her. And I don't think she deserved. But I wasn't there. Maybe she did deserve it. You know what I mean? I've been harsh oh, well. on some some. Uh, sometimes you get harsh on the crowd, and it wasn't them. You know, like in school, you think that's the person talking. And you're yeah. like, "Fuck you, gap tooth, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, he's like it wasn't me. <laughs> he's like, I didn't do a thing." <laughs> you know what I mean? So you got you do have to be careful. But it was that, a, it was a weird show that second one because it was a lady front and center by herself mm. wearing a mask, an Asian woman. Thick Chinese what accent. What was the mask of? No, like a COVID mask. Oh. Front centre. <laughs> so you couldn't see if she was smiling, enjoying the show, but she'd talk. She was a talker when you were just like doing a bit. Then she'd just chime in. Oh. And like it was really throwing like everyone off. I don't like that. And she was like kind of like saying to Rory like, oh, you got blue eyes. Do you have a girlfriend? Are you straight? Blah, blah, blah. Like I'll skip all these questions. <laughs> and like some people were like ripped her, but you couldn't tell if she was like enjoying the getting Cause ripped the on because of the mask. Yeah. And then I, I did like one of my jokes and she said something and then I ripped her, but I don't, I was going to say it, but then it's just going to ruin my jokes that I'm going to do. Yeah. 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 Okay. So stay <laughs> but it was tuned. funny. It was funny. Tom just rinsed her. Um, but yeah, I'm keen for the shows now because I feel like I've practiced. That's what, that's one of those ones. Sometimes like, Sometimes they don't deserve to be ripped on because they've ruined the joke. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this lady deserved a bit. But no, 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 because they want to get ripped on. So I'm like, fuck you. I'm just going to say shut the fuck up and let me rip on someone who doesn't want to be ripped on. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what I mean? If you're coming in, it's one thing to want to get ripped on. It's like, I hope Frenchie rips on me, but you can't ruin the joke to do it. Do you know what I mean? That's going to shit me. Do people really want to get ripped on? Yeah. I think they want to seem funny. Nah, nah, nah. Some people are like, oh, Hobie, Hobie rips me. Hobie. Really? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, we're in for this tour because all I've been dropping is crowd stuff. Mm. So they're going to come hoping for some fucking... Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I know. <laughs> we really backed ourselves into a corner, but we got to sell tickets here, boy. <laughs> don't, don't bring me into it. Guys, heck <laughs> Frenchie. He's the one who puts up videos of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't... Well, as we say, guys, you can't post your jokes because that's going to burn them so there's, there's, you're limited as, yeah. a, as a comedian whereas musicians can post their best songs more people will come to the show you post mm. your best jokes then play those same jokes they're a bit disappointed they're a bit disappointed they're like we've seen this unless one unless they start you know, dancing they're like I know this joke <laughs> That'd be cool. They say along with you. It's the Adele joke. Yeah. <laughs> Rolf Harris. <laughs> Joining in. That'd be cool. Um, no, so, yeah, Rory was on two, I think, episodes ago. And I think we mentioned him in the podcast. Last time I did Melbourne Comedy Festivals, Luke Kidgel's birthday. He come in late, um, stage dived onto a table we were sitting around. <laughs> I say stage dived. He jumped from the floor just onto the table like Jesus, falling yep. off the cross. He goes, what's up, bitches? Let's go get shots. And then he bought 20 people shots. Wow. Bro, he comes in like Geordie Shaw, Hurricane. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking a vibe. He also, um, there was an off-duty cop I, we were talking to, like a group of off-duty cops. Oh, yes. And he called one of them. <laughs> he goes, where'd you get your outfit? Fucking City Beach, you big fat bitch or some shit. <laughs> like he was just like, he didn't remember any of it. But he was just like a menace. Menace. <laughs> just still in stage I was just mode. like, bro, she's a cop. <laughs> oh, I was a girl. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was a dude. No. I thought like they were having friendly banda. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's funny. How was your weekend? I saw you were out oh, riding guys, little bikes. Guys, full guys, lycra. guys, guys. So I will never disrespect mountain bikers again. I haven't. In the, <laughs> no, I haven't in the past, but I assume they were in the same family as cyclists. Mm. You know, because they're both riding bikes. I'm like, oh, they're in a similar family. Mm. No. More no. hardcore. Yeah. Less lycra. It's not even a sport. It's it's it's, it's a, a lifestyle. It's a war. <laughs> yeah. For you versus the mountain. <laughs> How good are you at riding, Tom? I'm all right. I'm pretty good. Can you go... If you go off a gutter, hypothetically, do you do a cool thing where you do like a an ollie off the gutter, whatever they call it in bikes, or do you just front foot, wheel go down, put yeah, I just wheel go down. Yeah, me too. I'm that, not me, trying to impress anyone. No, because we're shit at riding. Like yeah. normal people can like sort of pop off it and do. Normal that sort of people? Stuff. No, they don't. Mm. <laughs> normal people. I never rode like down to the beach to check the surf. Rode back flat road, maybe a gutter that I'd struggle up or down. Mm. So my mates from high school are like, yo, we all do mountain bike riding. Do you want to come do mm, thread bow with us? 
Mount Threadbow. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it might as well sure. be. I'm like, yeah, how hard can it be? Didn't really think it through. Mm. Mm. So it's a mountain, obviously <laughs> steep enough to, to ski down. In the summer, it was supposed to start last weekend, the mountain biking season. You catch the chairlift up, you ride down from the top of the peak. Yep. Okay. But it was too wet. So it started this week. Friday didn't run because it was flooding. Oh, great. Saturday, the lift's open. It was a fucking mud pit. It was literally like the trenches of uh, World War II. Thank you for your service. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I fell over. I got stuck in there. I got trench foot. They had to pull me out. I was like, save yourself. So not only am I learning on a fucking steep mountain and I can't ride a bike, I'm learning in the worst conditions possible. <laughs> it's raining, it's muddy, and the boys are like all shredded. They got like, their bike's like $5,000. Did, you, did you, hire you know a bike? bike can cost that much? Yeah, it's crazy. And, and you know, the other thing that's crazy with mountain bikes, the seats go up and down. So you press a button. A if, button? Yeah, a button. A little button there on your left thumb. Huh. And you're sitting on the seat, it'll pop down to the bottom. And then you stand up and it'll pop right up. I never knew that. Mm. Apparently, like you, I'm guessing you can probably take the seat off and it's just the pole will go up and okay, down. I'm listening. <laughs> like the bike and it's always Fuck sunny yeah. in Philadelphia. Yeah, <laughs> Max <absolutely>. Dildo bike. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the, I'm learning a lot of things on the job. Yeah. It's the best way to learn. Bro, I could not have fallen over more. Oh. I, don't, I don't think. But you're just going down, right? The chairlift takes you up. Yeah, but... You're not because you're not going straight down on like a fire trail. You're it's doing like, like ups and downs. Curvy fucking like little, uh, they're called berms. B-E-R-M. Learning things. Mm. So you're going around and around and then it's a, it's the first day it's open so it's packed. So I'm falling over in the middle of the road. They're like, middle of the trail. They're like, get out, get off the trail. I'm like, I'm not here by choice, mate. I'm not fucking walking down. What are you fucking, I'm trying to get off the trail. Bro, that's what I hate about skiing as well because like, I've never been great at it. Whenever I go, like if you eat shit or or if you can't stop, you fucking yeah. plow into children, fucking old men. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking like really yeah. hurt people. It, it's essentially <laughs> the like skiing, but instead of snow, it's fucking dirt. Yeah. And and <laughs> and I was a prick because I'm good at skiing and snowboarding. So like when someone's learning, I'll always spray them if they fall over. I'll spray them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be a freak. <laughs> So it was real a lot of karma. <laughs> it was a lot of karma there. Bro, it was too steep because I thought I'd be able to like just go heap slow. It's too steep that I couldn't stop on it. I would just keep running forward and then eventually my wheel would catch. I'd fall on my face. Bike would flip over, land on my fucking back. <laughs> Bro, I wish we had footage of this. <laughs> I wish we had footage of you just getting smashed. Bro, like a highlight, funniest home videos reel would be, be so good. There would be 20 that would make funniest home videos grand final. Guys, if you saw Frenchie on the weekend eating shit send us a video if you got a little snapchat of it oh, I'm, i hope they did and didn't at the same time there's one i was cruising like it was the last run of the day so i was going a bit fast i was cruising around this berm so i went up it and i took it too fast literally flew off the side five meters down the hill into a bush and <laughs> bike lands on me again the bike always landed on me <laughs> which hilarious. is good because it wasn't my bike i didn't want it to get hurt so everyone's going past and they're doing it in a nice way but it's still like annoying and embarrassing. Thank you. Are you all right, mate? I'm like, yeah, I'm all good. Just, just wanted a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Bro. I remember we went on a ski trip when we were in like year eight. Mm -hmm. And me and one of my good friends, we were like skiing along and we weren't great. But we saw like some chicks we know in the ski lift. Yep. And we we're kind of like waving like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and my mate was waving and then just started going down a hill and went into a pond. <laughs> It was like out of the in-betweeners. <laughs> and the, the, the whole pond. thing. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Into a pond. How embarrassing. Oh, that's that's like, I thought it was going to be a pole or like no, a, a difficult run. No. A pond. It was, that is yeah. the in-betweeners, bro. Yeah, that's so fucking good. all time. Oh man, let's get into some uh, trending news, maybe. Yeah, man, let's let's tell the people what's going on. Let's mm. tell the world. Tom and Finch's trending news. Oh my! Uh, yeah. Ooh. So we've already talked about Omnicron before we get to Alex's mad stories. Um, mm. New variant. Do you care about the new variants? I know I don't. Not really. Uh, good. It's um. Oh, do you keep going. Oh, it's just like it seems early days. I hope it doesn't spread. 
There's always going to be shit to there's do. always going to be a new variant. We got shit to do. Okay, maybe if you want to lock yourself down, go for it. I'm all for freedom mm. of choice. Uh, next thing before we get to Alex's incredible stories, Mr. Beast video Squid Game. Oh, did you watch it? Holy shit! It is one of the best produced videos ever on YouTube. Yeah, it would have taken so long to fucking produce, but it didn't because Squid Games only came out like a month ago. Yeah, it was like... Oh, yeah. so, so, Mr. Beast is this uh, YouTuber who does videos like... Um, last person to leave the... Put their hand on the f- uh, Ferrari and last yeah. person to, to put your hand off wins it. Yep. Shit like that. It's all like big money giveaways videos. He puts all his money he makes from his videos back into him. And he did this video and it cost... I think it was $3.6 million to recreate the whole of Squid Games. And then he had... Um, the same amount of people compete, like 400 or something. Mm. Yeah, 462. And then he whittled it down to the final two, really. Yep. But it was fucking insane. It cost, yeah, that much. And then you could win 462,000 yeah. if you won it. But then, like, everyone who got kicked out won 1,000 at least. Like, he spent, Yeah, he gave 10 grand to some people. The sets were so on point. Surely you got to use that more. Surely you've got to make it a series if you put that much money into the set. <laughs> Yeah, he could sell it to someone oh, for 100%. a series for sure. Yeah, because that's just like the new wipeout, just do Squid Game. Oh, hey, that's good. Yeah. It was heaps funny like at the end because no one, this is what we talked about on the show, no one the fuck understands how to play Squid Games. So he did uh, musical chairs. Yeah. <laughs> that was how you won $460,000. You made it to the last six or whatever, last eight people. Your fate's settled by musical chairs. And that is a stressful game. Like, the anxiety oh. <laughs> you get playing that game, walking around a fucking chair waiting for the music to stop mm. is just the worst. Mm. Give and you a panic attack. Yeah, there was some fucking... We, when we used to play that, there's an age where you got to stop playing it because the boys are old enough to start fucking everything up. Yeah. I mean, the last time we played it, mayhem. So when someone goes to sit on the chair, you kick it away, yeah. dead. You know what I mean? And they all just push them away. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? They, they they never said no, no contact. Yeah, you know what I mean? Or you stick a dildo on it. Yeah, and then and you, you say, sit on it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. no one else will sit on it. But if you're like ready for it, you've started fingering yourself a bit before. Yeah, it. yeah. and then you get like <laughs> two prizes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> two prizes. Sick. <laughs> yeah, go check that out if you haven't seen it. I watched it last night actually, and it's up to ninety million views. Mm. Mm. There we go. Yeah, that's it's 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 going to be one of the most viewed videos ever. Yeah, I just thought I'd talk about it just because it's actually so so cool. It was cool. Are you going to yeah. produce something like that on your channel? Yo, when we're on tour, we should. <laughs> well, we're going to do a Squid Game. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> well, we've got a lot of few extra days in the country. We got a f- we got a few. Yeah, we got a few things we can do. Okay, well, Squid Game on Frenchie's channel coming soon. Yep. <laughs> Right, let's hear these stories. Let's hear it, Alex. Uh, okay. Uh, naked Gold Coast man catches car thief in the act. Yeah. I feel like, okay, before we get into it, this story happens about every two years. Does it? Mm. Yeah, it's some Aussie legend who's stowing. Hey, you go, nah, you're just trying to steal my car. So I ran out naked and I was like, ah, I had a sausage sanger in my hand. And he's, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, like a legend. But anyway, I do want to hear it. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much that, French. A Gold Coast man woke up after midnight on Wednesday after he heard someone rummaging through his car. Uh, Then he ran down uh, and just pulled him out of the car. It was a teenager, so the teenager backed up and then stalled the car. So, oh, oh, stalled the car. How embarrassing. You fucking loser. That is the worst car thief ever. (laughs) What are you, Frenchie on a mountain bike? (laughs) (laughs) Imagine stalling a car you're stealing. Oh, it's embarrassing. That is one. Especially a naked man pulling you out of a car. That's. Like the weirdest GTA ever. Yeah, and then he put him in a rear naked choke. <laughs> like 15-year-old while he's naked. That's a rear naked naked choke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine, at least you're ready for juvie. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, true. It's a good lesson. <laughs> you're ready for the showers. Good on him. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, the next one I've got is Dr. Magic Flute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, what do you reckon it is? I ain't got it. I don't want to go straight to like sex, a pedophile, but mm. it does sound it's like, like the Pied Piper, but the flute is his penis. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's pretty close. It's doctor who offered to have sex with patients to cure cancer, caught oh in an no. undercover sting. Wait, oh. he offered to have sex with them to cure their cancer. Well, that's nice. 
What, you just want him to suffer with cancer? No, but he's saying it's going to cure the cancer. What if it does? True. Yeah. I'm it? saying, what if it does? Did it? He does it, yes. Does it say in the article? Um, no, what he was doing, he got caught by an Italian... An Ita- uh, I- Mm. Italian TV mm. show, La Len, where they hired a f- actress, and then she got he did an HPV test on her, mm-hmm. but it was negative. But he still said that you might have it, and that leads to cancer. And then, but I'll help you out. I'll have sex with you. What the fuck? The and magic cure your flute. The magic. And he done flute. it to many. Apparently, uh, a few. How, how many? But. I'm just saying before we vilify this man, <laughs> did it cure their cancer? Well, to be fair, that chick didn't have cancer, so uh-huh. it didn't give so her it cancer. didn't give her cancer. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why she didn't have it. The thought of mm. he was thinking about having sex with her. And I don't mm. do. Do we have any proof one way or the other? No, but there is a part in it where she asks. So the fake actress goes into the hotel room with the doctor, Magic mm. Flute. And she asks Fake about driver. protection, which he said was pointless because the benefit from, from the antibodies wouldn't work. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. Do you have your passport? <laughs> have you got your white shot? Okay, we know 99% his fault. He should go to jail. You can't be doing that as a doctor. Mm. But there's 1% that says... Supernatural. <laughs> no, if you <laughs> believe his semen cures cancer... Uh-huh. That's kind of on you for believing that. I mean, what's crazier, this or going to one of those churches where they hit you on the head? True, yeah, exactly. True. And You're healed. And like, why does he have? If his semen is the powerful thing, why isn't oh, he putting it in like a needle? He should just inject it. Yeah. Mm. So is it the maybe it's it's the penis? It's the whole thing. It's the magic flute. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> does he? The tale would be what they should have done. Um. Is they send in a big seven foot five man? So I've got <laughs> cancer. I want that magic dick. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Give me that fucking magic cock, and I'll take it myself. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a good test. Mm. No, you're cured. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it. <laughs> Wow, that's that's insane. Like he's a doctor. Surely mm. he's had sex before. You'd think so. You think you'd be able? You to could pay for pay it. for it. Yeah. yeah, especially in Italy. They love the prostitutes over there. And Do older they? Men. Huh? Older dudes. Oh yeah, old yeah, men. Like older dudes are yeah. cool in Italy. Yeah. yeah, they love that shit because the the prime minister um, got done. Or one of them got done with heaps of prostitutes. He used to you have prostitute parties. Wow. Yeah, wow. keeping women employed. That's a feminist, bro. True. Well, you're gonna love the <laughs> next one I've got, which is hookers for health. There we go. Finally. There we go. Let's uh, hear it. Uh, brothel in Austria offers free sex for a vaccine. Wow, that is a. I didn't get anything for mine. Is the <laughs> wait? Is the vaccine for COVID or like yep. what they're about to give? give you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get HPV yeah. and then you go yeah. to Doctor Magic Flute, flute and yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> yeah, they're in they're in cahoots. Mm, these the two. circle of life. I like it. <laughs> they're in cahoots. Okay, so so yeah, in an effort to pump up business, the Fun Palace, uh, sex sex stars sauna club. He's offering a wait, wait, wait. Full name again? What was it? The Fun Palace Sex Star Sauna Club. See, wow. I got it from Fun Palace. I wanted more. <laughs> I wanted sex, more. Sex stars? Yeah. Sex Se- stars. Sex well, star. You want a star? Sauna club. Mm. That's sweaty. That is. That's, that's a sweaty. lot. That's a lot. That's too many words. Like a sex star in a sauna? That's going to be foggy. It's going to be a lot of mildew. I think Fun Palace, they had it, but and, and they just ruined their own name. But go on. Anyway, that's not the point of the story. Yep. Uh, you just get a 30-minute voucher with the lady of your choice uh, with every vaccine administered. 30 minutes? Can you redeem it in chunks? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not even joking now. Like, 30 minutes. You know when you get a gift card and you got to use it all at once? You're like, oh, I just want to buy one little thing. <laughs> <laughs> can I come back and use this Westfield card again? Can I come back? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Austria. That's wow. awesome. So is that state sponsored? Uh, I think it's just the brothel. Yeah, wow. Wow. Just Doing their initiative. part. One, yeah. one prick at a time. <laughs> nice. He's done it. Whatever. Whatever. Um, pro volleyballer catfished by Brazilian supermodel. Sounds interesting. Or woman <laughs> breastfeeds cat on flight. 
<laughs> There's a clear winner on those two. That's true. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> meow. Meow, meow, meow. So, woman breastfeeds cat on Delta Airlines flight and refuses to f- stop after being caught. <laughs> refuses to stop. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to start, you're not going to care what people say. <laughs> yeah, what caught? Yeah. Like, well, was she doing it under a tent? Yeah. <laughs> in the toilet. Like you've made a big commitment in your mind already if you're going to get your cat to suck your titty. Mm. Yeah, well, it was did the cat have cancer? The cat didn't have cancer, but mm. it was one of those hairless cats and she oh, had it wrapped it up worse. in a shawl or a blanket, kind of like you would a child. Oh, that's terrifying. Is this a true story? This is a true Delta story. Delta flights, bro. Anything can happen. Um, there are no laws that prohibit mothers from breastfeeding their human babies. <laughs> <laughs> so that's on a side, but it comes as most airlines recently have uh, tightened the policies on emotional support animals. So people are trying to bring in peacocks, ferrets, horses, ducks, snakes on the plane. To produce milk, you've got to be a mum, right? Y- yeah. No, i got a mate who can produce milk. No way. Really? Yeah. Ma- Ma- male, male or female? Male. Yeah. Male. Wow. You sure it's not pus or some shit? Nah, it's milk. I tasted no. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> Cornflake. You definitely did. What the fuck? That's, That's crazy. So does he just squeeze it he out? Just squeeze. It's only like like one. It's not enough for a coffee. <laughs> 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 Maybe a tea. A little enough oh. for a tea. Yeah. That's so crazy. That's gross. That's gross. How did he find that out? You just squeeze it, probably. You just milk yourself. Yeah. And you taste this. Well, I don't think I've ever tried to milk myself. So maybe mm. I've got the. Try. You just squeeze your nipple really hard. Oh. I've tried it Doesn't work He's special uh, No, I, I You'd have like little wet marks Like yeah, a no. new mum On yeah. your shirt Yeah so I think you're right Tom Though chances are She was a new mum Or also if I think if mums Never stop breastfeeding They just keep producing it For ages Heaps longer If it's a hairless cat though Could it just be a really ugly kid <laughs> Yeah definitely Yeah I've seen kids They're all A lot of them Newborns They are look like ugly. hairless cats That's a yeah, perfect yeah. description Yeah Um Sometimes I look at a cat, I'm like, that's a hairy kid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> True. We need to talk about um, support animals on flights. This is a good good point in this. Do you think they should be a thing, boys? Because I love animals and I love seeing a dog at the airport. Uh, but they're probably as poorly trained, probably better trained than kids. I'd say kids shouldn't be allowed on flights first. Oh, it's food, food time. time. Um, Only one. But one oh, if you need your support snake to fly, maybe, yeah. maybe drive. And I feel like maybe drive. Do you know what I mean? Or your support cat that you're also breastfeeding. That's a, like a new young cat. I feel like that's branching into a different area that is not allowed. I think you're allowed to say stop that. Is is what I'm thinking. Stop that cat sucking on your titties, please. No. You want to? I'm not. I'm not going to judge someone's choices. You know what I mean? Freedom, America. What is wrong <laughs> with you? You've changed since you come back. <laughs> no, you definitely can't <laughs> breastfeed a fucking cat. You Jurgen, she's breastfed on the cat. Breastfed. My turn now, mittens. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. But I, I do not mind the idea of support animals on flights, like dogs and cats, because when they have to go under, it's kind of fucked up anyway. When yeah, they put them with the fucking out. bags, like that's weird. Like I reckon they should be allowed in the plane if uh, they're gonna be allowed in the plane. I think there should be special fly- planes, like Just, Noah's Ark. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and One everyone, everyone brings the animal. You can't go on if you don't have a support animal. Yeah, it'll be mayhem. And the only food is from your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different, different thing we're okay, talking about. Mine okay. was a real idea that okay. I was pitching to Shark Tank. <laughs> I've been watching Shark Tank again. I'm not sure if I told you that. No. I went through another phase of Shark Tank, so. Have you got any um, so I'm ready. inventions you want to pitch? Like, I, have you been inspired? I still got the clothing ideas. I think I'll just need to start a clothing brand first. What, what were they? Which, I don't remember. Um, there was the Sing shirt. Half Sing, oh, half yep. shirt for men, not for women. They already got too much of that sort of st- sort of stuff. I actually can't remember them. I had Why f- Sing I had five shirt really good not ideas. shirtlet? Because sing shirt sounds like it sings. You should be on Shirtlet. the marketing team. That's really good. <laughs> Why don't we sell both of them? Okay. And they're actually the same thing, but one's but the one arm cut off, the other's the yeah, other. Yeah, I like cut that. Off. Now we're talking. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then I had other ideas, but I can't remember them. 
It is a good show. Yeah. I've been getting back into um, Naked and Afraid and Alone, those survival shows. Oh, you watch that a lot. What? Naked and Afraid. Yeah, it's good. Uh. It's not like a dating show. It sounds like it, but it's yeah. not. Have you seen Naked Attraction? Yes. Maybe. That one's fucking That crazy. one's fucked. Ooh. I don't like that one. It's too much. Bro, that one's crazy. What's the other one where there's like, they show like their legs and then they show their genitals that's and then they show their titties? I think that's it, Naked Attraction. Is that Naked Attraction? Yeah. yeah that one's fucking wild. Because there's the other one, Naked Dating, where they literally just walk out naked into like, go on a date, nude. That's what it is. Uh-huh. So there's a few. Fucking weird. Um, hate to interrupt, but Matt's, I got a message from my brother Matt the other yep. day. Want me to chuck this yep. on? Oh, yeah, do it. Just one message. Hey, I'm the OG Frenchie, and this is Matt's chats. <laughs> That's good. Schindler's, Schindler elevators get me every time. Schindler's lifts. Yeah, I've seen those. That's all he wrote. I think that every time. It's a weird lift brand. That's it's all like he wrote. Oh, so that's a real lift brand. Yeah. I thought he was just trying to make a joke. No, literally most lifts say Schindler's lifts on them. No way. You can't do that. It's been around forever. Wow. How weird is that? Wow. Mm, that's just true. So could we make an alcohol mm-hmm. featuring maybe Japanese whiskey and call it like the something bomb? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It seems like that's level of a disrespect. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know which one Shinless came first. Shinless lifts. That's so funny. Yeah, legit. You'll notice it now that you've it. heard it. You'll see it everywhere. I thought he was making a joke. He's like, what if elevators were called Shinless? Shinless lifts. <laughs> there you go, Matt. True. There you go. Let's get into some fan questions. <sighs> bing, bong, bing. Tom and French's fan submissions. Submit your own audio message to at Tom and Frenchie on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so Curly has asked Have you two seen each other naked? <laughs> if yes If you had a gun Parentheses or penis To your head Could you vivi- could you vividly describe each other's naked bodies? That's a great question I thought it was a great question as well That is a great question Thanks Curly from the, the Patreon The Thank nude you. lineup Which of your friends If they were in a nude lineup One to five mm. Random naked bodies would you be able to point out from their bits, from their vagine or their penis or butthole or whatever you guys stare yeah. at when you're naked? I think to answer the question, we haven't seen each other naked. No. But I think we could each describe what we think they would look like. Yeah? Okay. I'm not sure of this game, but go on. Well, I think Frenchies <laughs> would obviously look like him in his toes. <laughs> quite long and lanky, quite skinny. <laughs> Very blonde bush. Big, I one big ball, yeah. I'd be able to pick yours out because it'd have one well, big ball. I fixed the big ball, so no. Mm, it might come back. I'm thinking that Tom's got a toadstool. <laughs> uh, like red? No, nah, just like a, toad, like a bit chody. Do you know what I mean? Okay. A bit chody, yeah. yeah. And then I also think you've bedazzled your balls a bit. just Like sequins? <laughs> yeah. Well... Because your girlfriend has like pink hair, so I figured yep. you might have done something to your downstairs to be like a bit a bit edgy. You yeah, know, maybe you got, you you got a Prince Alfred too. Is it Alfred or Albert? Albert, Alfred, Prince Albert. Al- Albert, Prince Albert. Yeah, yeah. Alfred, Alfred I'm not sure. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the butler from Batman downstairs. Well, have you seen this? The ladder. I'm so disappointed. How's what's his voice? Is this like tight or something? What'd you say? The, there's the Prince Al- Albert, but there's also like the snake ladder <laughs> where they get ones all along the shaft. Oh, pierce oh. all on the shaft. I don't know that's why a, you're there with pierce, pierce down there. I don't know either. I've definitely got friends that I see naked more than I do Tom. Me and Tom don't see each other naked that often, but Tom didn't, play, often. <laughs> Tom didn't play sports. So I think it's a lot to do with if you played, the more sports you played, team sports, like footy, footy boys, they would all... Footy boys would be able to describe their mates' penises more than their own. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of a culture. For sure. Like for that my shit. mate who played rugby, like I know I could pop pick his out of a lineup, Scotty's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. I, I could pick out his nuts because they're massive. Yeah, you know his nuts. Exactly. <laughs> See Scott, Tom's only met him four times and he can already pick out Scotty's nuts, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if girls can do it too, you know what I mean? Whoever that they yeah. could, But like yeah, they see each other naked, mm. but would they be able to pick it out of a lineup? 
I Definitely guess, titties, maybe not. Vagine. I guess, yeah, vaginas are a lot more kind of hidden. Similar, yeah. And kind of like, you'd have to really Stretch spread it, it out. out. Yeah. yeah. Have a look at these oh. flaps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a look. Have a look. It's talking. <laughs> yeah, they do do like they do that. funny shit like that? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> do they do like, because they do puppetry of the penis. Do they do that with vaginas? It's limited. <laughs> I like how we talk about girls like we've never met one. <laughs> I've <have> not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask all the fans um, Guys, uh, do you use your vaginas <laughs> As like uh, As puppets to yeah, talk puppets. Like possible? sock puppets I don't think that's possible I think it's possible If they get kegels Or with the Just, just opening it and closing it I think it's possible I just don't know if they do it, it Yeah, why not what other questions have we got? <laughs> they, would, they would definitely do some cook shit like that yeah. when, they, when they're cooked, for sure. I had a mate come over and we watched The Usual Suspects <laughs> and then he just got out his cock and started moving it back and forth. Going, <laughs> Guys are so shit. <laughs> Wait, just you and him? <laughs> One other dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> you got to call him. You had enough. All right. Uh. Tomo asks, uh, welcome to OG Tom. Oh, so this is this is a new Patreon member who joined us called the OG Tom. Welcome, OG Tom. And he's fifty dollars a month member. What? He just signed up yesterday. Whoa, we can call you whatever you want. Welcome, and he said, God. He said since he's new to the group and he's paying fifty dollars a month, we've got to suck his dick. Yeah, whatever yeah. you want, God, Tom, whatever you want us to call you. Um, fifty dollars a month. Do you even get? What do you get for that? The, you, our respect. That's not enough. Yeah. You can get that for free. Nope. Nope. Good Good deal. Good deal. And he asks, how long have you two known each other? OG Tom. Question. 2013, I think. 2013. Since I moved up to Sydney. Yeah. Pretty much within a couple of weeks of um, going in Sydney, uh, I was on looking to make friends. So I went on this uh, friend app <laughs> called Grindr. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what I mean? And Tom was on there like, like he had a tight uh, speedos on yep. there, really good body at the time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I went the uh, nut out either side of the speedo, <laughs> so it looks like the some Jeep. kind of elephant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was it was confronting. So yeah, we we met there on 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 um, grinder. Yeah, grinder. And, and you, you boys were sh- flatmates for a bit. For yeah. a bit, yeah, yeah. When we first moved, I was living with another friend from Canberra, and you were living. With, with a group some of other people. boys, yeah. yeah, and then we moved into to uh, the frat house, yeah, the abattoir we called it. You don't want to know why. No, you've explained <laughs> on the podcast okay, before. Good. Okay, good. Because Frenchie was like, "I'm rooting so many cows here. I'm murdering. <laughs> That's not them. why. I'm murdering That's so many not cows. Why. That's not why." <laughs> Stitch up. So yeah, 2013. Uh, yeah, 13. So eight years of friendship. That's crazy. I'd say five years of friendship, eight years of knowing each other. <laughs> you know, it can't be friends. Yeah, it can't yeah. be friends all the time. Yeah. On and off. Episode 40 to 85, I think, we were um, fighting behind the scenes. <laughs> we're like Nirvana. I think we were fighting on the scenes <laughs> for most podcasts. Yeah. Um, Mara- oh, wait, before you get into that, I want to tell you what happened on the train. I started talking about it. So I get ju- I get some gum from the bench, start chewing it, get on the train. From the bench? From my bench at home. Walk oh, to the train station. You meant like Not the, the train, train bench. Bench, like underneath? Start chewing it, walk to the train station, get on the train. About five, six minutes in the train journey, it goes to mush. Oh, You know when they go gum. to like, it was old gum. Yeah. So I'm looking around for something to deposit in, nothing on me, oh, nothing no. in my bag. And I don't want to get up because my laptop's out. I don't want to go find a toilet, so... It just getting mushier, mushier. Eventually, it got to liquid, and I had to swallow it. It was so gross, and I still feel it in me right now. Oh no! I know. You know that stays in your body for forty two years. Yeah, yeah. You won't live that long. Exactly. <laughs> I wasn't worried. John, what's the question? Uh, Mar- Marilyn, uh, sorry, I'm butchering that. Uh, what are your favorite songs, uh, and can you sing them in different accents? Favorite songs. I like the question. We don't talk about music that much. What I will do is I'm going to talk about the last, um, while you're thinking of what your favorite songs. See, what I do is I save songs on Spotify that Ooh. I'm enjoying, and then we can talk about my last favorite save songs, if you'd okay. like. I was playing I Way I Too Sexy saved. by Drake as I walked here. Look at my last saved one, Island Boy Freestyle. <laughs> 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 then the Vans, Mashed and Kutcher. Kid Rock's got a new song. It's called Don't Tell Me How to Live. 
It is exactly what you think it is. Oh no! So it's I'm assuming it's about mask mandates and stuff and um, America's laws. And he knows it's his so audience. Sick, yeah. Do you think? I've always also thought this. Always thought this. Kid Rock should do more songs. No, it's gonna be dumb. <laughs> Go on about rocks or about kids. <laughs> or should we do a song combining the two? I like that. <laughs> We've got a few beats on there, new beats actually. Yeah, let's do it. So it's about rocks and kids as Kid Rock? As Kid Rock. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, it's kind of islandy. Can we get a harder one? I feel like we yeah, need a harder one. There's only one other one. Yeah. yeah, that's better. Kid Rock. Yee yee. Bye. I'm um, a goat. They call me the kid, Billy um, Goat. Americana. Wild West. Billy Goat. Billy Goat Kid. Hit the beat. Got the fresh, fresh, fresh Allen Boy hairstyle. I'm a goat. Gonna get on a plane with my owner. Everybody making snowmen. I don't give a fuck. Wanna build a rock man. It's a rock kid. <laughs> kid Rock is my name. Build a rock kid. <laughs> build a rock kid. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, hero of mine, being a young kid rock, I look up to him, I smell what the rock is cooking, it's poo in his anus, went on a plane with my owner, I'm a goat, my owner made me breastfeed from her, hairless cat, that's how I like my pussy (laughs) yeah. <laughs> America. America. Yeah, that's good. That was good. <laughs> so anyway, that was our favorite song. <laughs> yeah, literally I go through phases with songs. I really find it hard. I listen to a song to death until I don't like it anymore, usually. Mm. Like mm. I'll have a favorite song, I'll listen to it for a week or whatever. And just overplay it and then just move on. 100%. 100%. I'm into some country music at the moment. I've saved some this song called Fancy Like. Fucking sick. Just listen, started listening to Otis again by Jay-Z and Kanye West. Mm. Good song. What's your favourite uh, song, Alex? Izzo. <laughs> Don't yell at Alex. Izzo. <laughs> tell her. You can speak, Alex. Um, I've been listening to the Beatles again because uh, Peter Jackson's docos just come out. Oh, sick. What's it on? Uh, it's... Uh, restored footage from them doing their Get Back album, working on songs, and then before their rooftop performance, which was their last performance. That'd be interesting. What, what's it called? Get Back. But, but sorry, what uh, streaming service is it on? Uh, Disney. Fuck, I'm gonna have to watch that. Yeah, bro, they're they, actually they quite a, a good band, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they're really underrated. I'm joking. But no. they're, they're correctly rated, I think. They're really good. I'm a big Beatles fan. Mm. Oh, uh, bro. And the restoration, it's like the same stuff they used for World War II. Oh, oh you've got us. You've hooked us. World we War II in colour. That. Let's yeah. go. So good. No, okay, we'll watch that. No, you you guys go to a Beatles right now and do a Beatles playlist and every for, for 60 songs you'll be like, fuck off. I know bro. every single one of these songs. And the way they write is so fucking clever because it's like, Within 10 seconds, they've got a hook in there. Do you know what I mean? They hook you in so quick and all the mm. choruses are so fucking catchy. And just like but, their, their whole career of like like the Beatlemania shit, like they were so fucking big. But in saying that, weren't a lot of songs out at the time. So they can really have free reign. Now I think it's a lot harder to be the Beatles. A lot of songs going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They were the first of like the rock bands. Were yeah. they rock? Uh, pop yeah. bands? Pop yeah, bands. pop, rock. Yeah, went a bit experimental. That's what I think is cool about the Beatles is the different albums and it as it as they get older and more mature, the songs become a lot better. Actually, I um my favorite's Yoko Ono. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like Ringo used to write all the shit songs because he was just like a moron? They all ripped on. He like wrote like <laughs> Yellow Submarine or Octopus's Garden or something like that. Yeah, they're all very kind of childish. Yeah, like and and like more like child songs, which is interesting because he later was the. The narrator or the voice in Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, Ringo Star Wars. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's it would be hard being the drummer of a band with John Lennon and Paul McCartney in it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I think I'll just know my place. I'll be oh, like, yeah. you know what, I I didn't write a song. I'm helping you out by not writing a song. Yeah, be like, I'm just gonna take a lot of the money as well. Yeah, yeah. we'll split it four ways. Um I'll just chill. I'll just chill. I'll just here's a beat. And um 
I'll just buy you a don't few, like it, do it yourself. I don't really care. I'll just be the face. I'll just buy yeah. a few hundred houses. Yeah. Was his name always Ringo Starr? Uh, something Richard Starkey. Oh, yeah. Ooh, good Richard. choice. Yeah. Was, <laughs> oh, you could have gone Dick, Dick Starr. That's good too. Dick Starkey Dick. Not bad. Done. Have you watched Succession? That's a show I've been watching. No. Someone else told tell me about that. It's fucking like, I think you'd like it. It's um, I was surprised you like Mad Men because it's more uh, drama. Were you though, <laughs> <laughs> I was because it's not like a, a fast paced. Yeah, no, nah, I do like a well written show. Like I think you'll like succession. really well written with really yeah. good characters. And the like- characters on this are so funny. So it's basically like a piss take of like um, who's the Aussie oh, it's guy? A comedy. It isn't, but it is very funny. Like so a kid, a like a Kid Rock song. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, who's the big like media mogul in Australia? Kerry Packer. Yeah, so it's kind of based on like that type of family. So they're like mm, a media mm, mogul family, mm. like billions and billions of dollars, but they're all siblings and they're all competing to like, they're all trying to undercut each other and the dad's got plans and yep, each yep, person. Yep, 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 yep. And they're all like thinking of how to get him, get ahead and get yep. money. And it's, but they're like really funny. Like Macaulay Culkin's brother's one of them. Macaulay Culkin's got a brother. Yeah, and he's really good in it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's good. So, check that out. I didn't know he had a brother. Mm-hmm. So, do you oh, think so he Kieran went to the? Culkin. Do you think he went to the film set with his brother, or do you think he was left? I reckon at home. I reckon for sure alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done it. He lived it. He lived it. Here we go. This is his brother. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I yeah. know him. Yeah, you would have seen yeah, him in yeah, shit yeah, throughout I've the years. Him, I've seen him. That's what he looks like in Succession. Tricky one. Okay, you got to choose between me, and Macaulay Culkin, or his brother. That is hard, mm. bro. Macaulay Culkin dated Mila Kunis, or they got married. Married. I'm pretty sure. Well, Isn't that surprising? Because he is not a good looking. Well, dude. she's got an interesting career. Because wasn't she kicking around Hollywood at like 15? She like lied to get on like that 70s show or Family yeah, Guy or something right. like that. I think it was that 70s show. Crazy man. And now she's with Ashton Kutcher. Crazy. Mm. Full circle, huh? We know too much about celebrities, don't we? Look at us, mm. a little pop, pop mm. gossip. Pop gossip. That could be a segment. Pop gossip. <laughs> That's catchy. I don't hate it. Mm. What's happening in the pop gossip today, Tom? <laughs> Everything's happening, French. Taylor Swift and Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm. 10-minute song by Taylor Swift mm. release. More like Taylor not so swift, am I right? <laughs> oh, he went Ew. there. He went there. Oh, back to you, French. Why did she, Why did he steal a jumper? Do you mean why did it he? It was a scarf. Scarf. Mm. Mm. The jumper of the neck. <laughs> 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 so that is insane she's essentially bullying him yeah fair to enough to do it 15 years later there's bullying he just wants to hang out and be prince of persia in peace <laughs> forgot he was prince I did he black that. up for that <laughs> i think he did <laughs> did he black up <laughs> i believe I think, so well i guess he's got to play a persian so i guess mm. yeah it might have had some fake yeah. tan on yeah Interesting. Oh, you'd hope he just went and got a real tan, but if he nope. didn't have time, <laughs> did he become a prince for it too, Tom? Great question. Mm. Do we have any more fan questions? Or is that- yeah, we've got two more. Okay. So Hugh H O three asks, uh, "This is for Frenchie. Did you ever think about getting a nine to five job originally, uh, and how did you end up making enough money for comedy?" vids that's good comedy question. slash vids. well i did have a nine to five job i was a teacher so that's so you were like a part-time teacher eh? yeah but i was so i was casual so substitute is generally they ring you up in the morning and tell you if you want a day or not or you get blocked so they're like can you do three weeks of chemistry yeah, at right. this school or a the term here going or something on like that cruise so, yeah. yeah 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 so essentially it is a, a nine to five job but um i think they must have got super from that so maybe mm-hmm mm. So you got like two grand in school? No, because I need to get paid for this other job we did, Tom. And they're like, fill out this this website. Mm. The one pedestrian. And um, they got to the super part. And I'm like, I don't think I can fill that out because I don't know where my super is if, if I've got it. So I went <laughs> searching my emails for it. Still couldn't find it. Tried to log in. So... You don't know still? That's what I know. There's like a there's a website you can go to where you can find all your supers because most people you jump around jobs, yeah. most people, and you have like, like if you did fast food when you were 10, yep. you know, 10, um, then that might have gone to like rest superannuation and then they signed you up at some other one. You can put them all together. So it's definitely the information's out there. You just got to find it. There you go. 
Stay tuned, guys. I'm See, really, I saw his like eyes really glaze over in, as soon as I told no, him No, I heard how what you it. said. There's a website you can go to. They put them all together. I heard it. Uh, I got it from the headline. What's the next question? Um, <laughs> I pulled this one from the comments. It's Alex Barlow, and he filled out the coolest dudes list. The oh, good. Oh. We want to. Mm. What has he got for us? So, number one is Harrison Ford. Yeah, he's a cool dude. He's pretty cool. He no, seems a bit grumpy these so days. he's so cool, but I love that about him. Okay. Because you know how he got found for Star Wars, don't you? I'm pretty sure he was a labourer, like a carpenter, he working was, on yeah. a, either George Lucas's deck or like his neighbours. He would have been hot as a young hot dude. Hot as fuck, bro. He's hot as an old dude. Mm. And like, so he's had a really good career. He's done Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and then he only does every now and then, so it's not like noticeable when he does shit nowadays. Manscaped. Ho, 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 gentlemen, the holidays have come early this year as Manscaped have the gift that keeps on trimming. Santa's beard isn't so appealing when it's coming out of your trousers, and that's why Manscaped, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming, have you covered this holiday season. Now available in your country, whatever country it is, join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped to keep their trees trimmed and ornaments Polished. Go to manscaped.com and use the code Tom Frenchy for twenty percent off plus free shipping. Jingle balls to the walls, fellas. Listen up. It's time to kill two <laughs> birds with one trimmer. And actually, ki- no, we don't actually kill the birds. It's metaphor. Get yourself and your lady a gift. I'm talking about Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Do you have any stories about when you've hurt your balls? Um, when you had that big nut, maybe. Oh yes, yes, yes. I hurt my balls. Uh, on the daily, uh, on purpose. Oh, wow. I thought it would help it grow if I just punched myself down there, but it didn't. You know what I mean? It didn't. (laughs) (laughs) Not quite about trimming, but uh, we'll leave that. (laughs) Inside the performance package 4.0, the best gift you'll find this Christmas, you'll get the lawnmower. 4.0, 4.0, which is an electric trimmer, has the proper tidy of <laughs> skin safe technology. Proprietary. Reduces Proprietary. cuts on your nuts. Mm. Yeah, it's a hot, tricky word. It's also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. It's like a gift to your partner with less mess. The so, Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver, an anti chafing ball deodorant, moisturizer, and toner. And it comes with a pair of Manscaped's anti chafing boxes, Ooh. perfect wrapping for your presence. Oh. And it comes with all the tools to clean up in this delicate place. Weed whacker, ear and nose and hair trimmer, all the hair trimmers, 9,000 RPM motor blade, 360 degrees. Let's go. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code Tom Frenchy at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with the free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Tom Frenchy. Clean up your nuts and make Santa proud this year. What? <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Santa loves Santa nice loves clean nuts. Balls. You don't be on the naughty list with your big pubes. <laughs> if you could play someone in a movie, someone famous, like in their biopic or whatever, who are you picking? Probably Oprah. <laughs> 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 Would you be blacking it up? So it dumb. That is so dumb. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm trying to think who. We okay. So it has to be someone old for me to play them. Yeah, I can. I already know who I'd be playing. Who? The fucking cunt from Notting Hill. Everyone still oh, yeah, says yeah. that guy. I'd play a thirty-year-old version of him. Someone said the other day in the comments that I look like Will Wheaton and I had no idea who it was. And he's some guy who was in like Star Trek back in the day. Oh, wow. So him. He's going to be a popular. popular. Yeah. No, you could be like a Matt Damon vibes. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Okay. I'm trying to help you out. I was trying to give you a compliment. Thanks, man. You yeah. could be... Uh, it's too far off. <laughs> George Clooney. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Alex. Uh, second one is uh, Kimmy Rakanon. Wreck on and on. Is that, yeah. the, is that <laughs> the car driver? Yeah, yeah. No. Already, I, already I, don't even, out. I didn't know who that was. I thought that was the person asking the question. Yeah, obviously, this person seeps in a Formula One, and that's why the list is subjective. Kimmy Rackinen or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's a Formula One. Um, yeah, maybe he's cool in some circles, but you got to drive a car the whole time. Do you know what I mean? 
And you're just going in circles, yeah. aren't you? I don't get it. I Life's like, not yeah. all just circles. And, and, and you see those car drivers, okay? Always serious, two hands on the wheel, boom, boom, boom. They're never throwing up a shackers, you know what I mean? Yeah, like one arm up. One arm up, lay mm. back, pumping some rap music. No, they're like... Listen to people talk and stuff. Yeah. Like, turn left. Mm. Like, make it more realistic. Try and eat, like, a burger with one hand or something. Yeah. Like, like we all do. In 100%. You're yeah. going on a trip. Where's your Where's your water? Where's the Macca stop? Where's the Macca stop? Text your missus back. Mm. Me drive. So They're I can't never listening talk, to the Tom and Frenchy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be good edit, editing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three. Uh, number three is Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, so I'm guessing that's just because he had sex with lots of women, right? Who is yeah, he? didn't he get like 10,000 or something? Yeah. So he's like the first basketballer ever who was good. Right. I thought it was... Um, Isn't that right, Alex? I think so. So he's like the first, one of the first black basketballers who was allowed to, to go pro or whatever, right. allowed to play, and he fucking dominated. He has all the records Sick, of huh? women and... And basketball. And basketball. I think that's him. Yeah. I thought it was the husband of the lady who got the baby storm from the dingo. <laughs> What? Wasn't that Will Chamberlain? <laughs> I'll look that up. I don't know. No, nah, it's Linda I th- Chamberlain. I think it's the brother it's of the country singer. Who's that? Casey Chambers. <laughs> <Lynn. laughs> <laughs> don't know a lot of Chamberlains. <laughs> Am I not Will to know? <laughs> Who else Will have we got? Uh, fourth one is Christopher Lee. The guy from Back to the Future, is that him? <laughs> yeah, that old dude that played, uh, he played Count Dracula. Yeah. And he was also in Star Wars. He was a Count Dooku. It's mm. a strange. Line, that's right? yeah. That's niche. That's niche. He, but I'm, I was going to rip on him. And then like you know, we might see a picture of him. And be like, yeah, he looks. That's a cool Count Dooku. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Jimmy oh yeah, Jimi Hendrix should be on there. Yeah, Bob Marley. Fair. Those. That's fair. Those guys are just. That's cool. fair. I was thinking Keanu Reeves should have been on our list. Yeah, definitely. Because he seems like he just like chills out. He. Fucking like gives people money. He's like, yeah, he catches a subway. Still. Yeah, I like that. He's he's the man. Keanu Reeves is the man. And also, everyone like used to rip on him, and he just never yeah cared. He's like okay. He's like you can't act. Keanu is like cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> shock up my dude. Shock up my yeah. dude. Uh, you guys want to jump onto the conundrum? Oh the yeah, oh, hit us. Let's fucking go. Tom and French's conundrum of the week. David Attenborough is pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, feels. Actually, I saw him in an interview and he kind of gave me the creeps. I don't know why. I think he was talking to a woman and he was like, I would like to eat your ass. Something <laughs> he was like, like Sean Connery. Do you ever grab your vagina and then make faces with it and go, hello, I'm a talking cookie <laughs> vagina and feed it cookies. It's the cookie monster. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Bro, if I saw a girl eating a cookie with her vagina pretending to be cookie monster. Yeah, you'd funny. have to marry her on the spot. Bro, that is so funny. I don't think I could ever recover from that. <laughs> and all the crumbs go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> now that's comedy. We've never seen a vagina. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> all right, what's our conundrum okay, this week? So, my girlfriend did not appreciate my reaction reaction to seeing her naked. So, background: there is this trend on TikTok where girls surprise their partners by walking into the room naked and filming mm-hmm. their reaction. You seen those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Seen a lot of them. Yeah. Why it's a trend? Yep. Okay. Anyway, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my girlfriend is working from home, and I work in the hospital. I got home from a twelve-hour shift of potentially being exposed to COVID nineteen, and just wanted some beers and go- to go to bed. I guess my girlfriend thought she would get the same reaction when I walked in the door and saw her naked. I barely had enough energy left to give any reaction, let alone a good one. I basically just told her I appreciated the gesture, but I was exhausted. Oh, no. She got moody at me, basically comparing all these other TikToks where the man got excited (laughs) to see the girl naked. I told her all these TikToks are from men that work from home. (laughs) Not not working... uh, doing 12 hour shifts during the pandemic. She took this as an insult. The fact that she's currently working from home, which wasn't my intention at all. Oh, oh now, no. now you're in this room. Now Bro, you're in this room. Stress. <laughs> this guy fucking yeah, Keep going uh, and then we'll talk. Since this happened a couple of days ago, she's acting like I don't find her sexy at all and giving me sarcastic answers. What do I say to her? <sighs> Just apologize. Get no, it out of the way. No, no, you've got... <laughs> 
you've got to rip her clothes off in public and then go, Daddy, like <laughs> Cookie Monster. And pull out a cookie. <laughs> See? <laughs> um, no, no, no. So that's so it's such an interesting conundrum because I can picture it. Oh, absolutely! I can picture it. That is a classic. It's a, it's it's a, one of those classic ones that like, welcome to our world, ladies. <laughs> the amount of times I walked in the room naked mm. for nothing. I tried to do one of those videos, but instead of walking in on my girlfriend nude, I did it at the local park, and they were screaming. They were not Im- impressed. <laughs> do you not find me sexy? That's what you said. Yeah, uh, yeah. I saw the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you tried to steal the car and got apprehended. Mm. I remember a naked man. It was the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I can see this happening. It's one of those things like you've had different days. Mm. Your energies aren't meeting, but they're combining. Yeah. Mm. And the problem is she wasn't Gene it up, like doing sexy little messages like can't wait to get home, wink, sort of stuff like that. Mm. So he's just like, oh, going to be another fucking boring day in hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's more like, can't wait to get home. I'm fucking spent from um, the pandemic. Is the pandemic still going? Oh, that was an old message. Yeah, it was it an old pretty one. old. Yeah, so... Um, and yes, it is. No, it's not. Gone. In my world, I've, I've, I've erased it. I'm done with it. I like that you act like it was years ago. Is no, that still going? I don't, I don't, we, we don't think about. We don't talk about that he anymore. He probably works at a hospital. Definitely, he probably still does. They're quite busy at the moment for some reason. But yeah, she's built up in the head. I'm doing the naked thing. Mm. Look at all these reactions. He's gonna be so stoked because he's always got a boner. Because he's a, he's a boy. He's, he's a man. A man. Mm. He gets home. I'm I'm dead. I've been I'm sweeping dead. up dead people, people in being, the morgue. People coughing on me, do you know what mm. I mean? Mm. Just want to sit down and relax. She comes in naked. And and here's the other thing. Naked's not as good as underwear. You reckon? Mm. Well, naked could mean she's mm. just got out of the shower. She's Ooh, just doing okay, the laundry. That's hot. Like she needs to put a bow on or like bow on. some kind no, of No, but I reckon tassels. if I just finished work, if I ever worked, well, I'll say, let's say I had a hard ride um, down the mountain. You did. Because I'm a downhill mountain bike rider. I'm yeah. sitting down, I'm finally get to sit down. She comes out naked, I'll be like, there you go. Mm. Or maybe I'll give a little shaka, just like, you sick, you're naked. Are you cold or something? Do you know what mm. I mean? I don't think I'd be like, oh, yeah, you are the... Daddy got a horny. <laughs> okay, let's play a different scenario. So that that's one scenario. You come home. Yep. She's on the couch naked. Yep. Next word, jar, <laughs> jar of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> a jar of cookies. She goes, cookie monster hungry, and she devours one. Yep. Interested. Very interested. <laughs> I think we're all hungry from that. Um, but no, yeah, most times I think I'd be like, yeah, nice, you're naked, sick titties, something like that. I'll probably yeah. start a sick titties. Do you reckon TikToks become like, you know how they're always like um, Instagram gives you like, um, what's the word? Where it's like the hot chicks give you like... <sighs> boners? Boners. No, like I don't the, know what you're saying, but- like it used to be magazines, unrealistic expectations. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, definitely. Because you and only post TikTok. in the best ones. Yeah, now TikTok. And most that. of it's fake too. Yeah. Most of it's, and the other thing, okay. If, yeah, and you've mentioned this before. If she walked out naked, different to if she had a towel on then drops it. Because then it's like, yeah. look, it's a reveal. Or that the way she should have done it is made herself as fucking ugly as possible. Do you know what I mean? Like glad wrap around her face. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. A big fucking uh, tent on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Fake wig. Mm. She, and he's like, oh, she's looking sort of like the Not people at the hospital. Yeah, like the yeah, people yeah. at the hospital. Like, do you need to go to the hospital? Yeah, bang. Rips the glad wrap off, wigs off, mm. drops the tent. Yeah. Naked. And wow. it was like, whoa. That's cool. Yeah. That's more exciting. It needs more. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it was on her. Maybe some sparklers. Put some sparklers in it. In what? In the occasion. Okay. <laughs> in the reveal. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's a tricky one yeah. because I see both sides. Yeah, she wants yeah. she wants a good reaction. But also, I'm probably naked. Every, I'm actually am naked walking around the kitchen every day. Not once has she ever said, you're looking good naked. I'm horny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's also like, you need I'm, to I'm, know the vibe of his day. And you can't be offended if he's had a really bad day and he's just not in the mood. And how... And you're there filming him coming in nude. <laughs> yeah, also filming him too. Yeah. <laughs> He's crying. Don't live stream it. He's crying. Yeah. Maybe he could just do the same to her. 
Oh, oh test it. No, that's a way to get back oh, on equal yes. level. Yes. Wait for her, like when maybe a, someone maybe in her family her dies. Over. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, what? Someone in her family dies. Just say someone in her family dies. He walks out naked and then get offended. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not find me sexy? <laughs> like, yeah. Grand grand's just died. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I've just <laughs> Arrived. come to life. Come to life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should bury something else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um Okay. That was good. Conundrum yeah. solved. Tom and French's fucked segment of the week. Thank you, Billy. Okay, we've got an idea for this one. This week we want to do a prank call because we haven't done one in a little while. Mm. And schoolies is on. Frenchy pointed that out, which is funny. I've seen a lot of, on like TikTok and shit of like real lame fights and stuff. Yeah, like like it's such a vibe, isn't it? Such or like a vibe. or like concerts with like five people in it, or people who've booked like a pool party and there's like six of them. <laughs> Like, just, like, stitch up. At least it's going ahead this year. Oh, exactly. Good on them. It's been a rough few years for university and school leavers. Yeah. Do you reckon all the ones last year can go on it this year? Surely. I feel like one year's all right. Yeah, go for it, guys. If we go, creepy. (laughs) If Alex goes... Okay, so we're going to ring up... um, We're thinking we're going to ring up a hotel Mm. on schoolies... um, Pretending to be lads who are about to stay... Yeah. Or just just stayed... I reckon about to stay. About okay. to stay. Okay. Okay. And we'll just see how we go because who knows with these things. <laughs> Hello, thank you for calling Hilton Social Paradise. I'm Misha speaking. How can I help you today? Hey, Misha. How are you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. So how are you? Good, thanks. Um, I'm just inquiring about some of your rooms. Um, me and the boys are coming up for a trip and... Um, we're just kind of seeing what type mm-hmm. of rooms. Do you have like big rooms with lots of beds or um, is there like family rooms? Okay, so there are a few types of room, but I have to check on which room is available for your preferred date. So can I have your preferred dates and how many people is traveling? Yeah, for sure. It's, the, it's this Saturday, the 4th of December, and there'll be about... Uh, mm-hmm. pro- probably all the boys. Do you know, like the the mud dog boys, or where where we're all coming up? Probably about six, seven of us. Yeah, the mud dog boys. Oh, okay, no problem. So, can I just uh, from the fourth of December for how many nights? What do you reckon? Full full, full. week. Well, I'll probably be if we're if we're in one a night, probably seven. Yeah, seven seven week. nights. The full week. Seven nights. Okay, no problem. So just. Keep. Give me a moment. Ask her if it comes with condoms. You know how there's like toilet paper and like um, shampoos and conditioners. Is there uh, condoms? We we come. Uh, no sir. Oh, okay. We're coming up for school. Is it? Yeah, be sick. it's gonna be yeah. lit. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting ready. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe you could use a shower cap. <laughs> Let me just check for your thank availability. You, thank you. No problem. Do you reckon I need to do more push-ups? I reckon you should do a few. Before. Yeah. You're looking a bit skinny. Hope Jessica's up there. Yeah, I heard her mum's in town. Yeah. See, I heard at the after party, she full like gave Gaz a, like a gobby. Yeah, but his dick looked all red after. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? Don't you just like just red it up? If you don't, if it's not red, you didn't get a proper one. Oh, I think. yeah, no, you might be right. Make sure they got like fruit beers there. Fruit beers. Yeah, vodka cruises, bro. Or we'll bring them on the plane, probably. I was thinking about driving, and having a few beers. Yeah, then we can bring up the stash bar. You. You. Yeah, okay. Okay, hi, sir. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Uh, currently, we have the two-bedroom residence okay. available. Yeah. Either um, the city view or the ocean view, whichever you prefer. Mm-hmm. Uh, which can fit for six adults. If you were to come back to a room, would you prefer the ocean view or the other one? Uh, me, is it? 
Yeah, like what? what's better, the views? Okay, uh, the ocean view is much more relaxing, sir. So. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lit. You yeah, like that? which one's better to get like just smashed in, like drink, drinking and... and yeah. <laughs> the ocean view, definitely. Uh, ocean view, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Frank Ocean. You yeah, know. bring a few starfish back. Yeah. Um, yeah, how much how much was that okay, one? Okay, so we have the two big Okay, for one night it is uh, let me just get that. For one night it is uh four hundred and forty five dollars. Oh four hundred and forty one dollars. And twenty nine cents. Awesome. Do you mind if we use our teacher's credit card? For one ca- night. Our, our teacher's credit card. Uh yeah. We can. You can. We just need your credit card number yep. just for a uh, guarantee purpose. We, we, and you will be paying only during check in. Perfect. We only got our teachers. We flogged it off him, but like he doesn't. He doesn't need it. He was like a creepy one anyway. He used to watch a share and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, we we'll use his credit card um, if that's cool. Come okay, getting it out now. Okay. Sure. Okay, sure. Let's show. So, are you looking for with the breakfast or without breakfast? Ooh. Ooh. If we have chicks over, can they have breakfast too? Yeah, we'll because, get- <laughs> because if with breakfast, one night it's $617. Without breakfast, it's $441. That's that's an expensive breakfast. That, but, but, only. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I might just have breakfast in bed, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wink. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. So I just... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to get out of that. Why, just didn't why did that go for so long? I didn't know where... Well, why was. did that go? Was that a real hotel? I think it was, yeah. Why did she let you have the... Use my teacher's credit card. <laughs> Who watches you in the shower? <laughs> Mr. Stinks. <laughs> uh, oh. I, I wanted to up it, but she was just so nice. I was like, I oh, know, I just want to really do sort of sport. normal... Sort of do a normal jokes, and then we just got in. <laughs> oh. Next, next minute, we're booking a fucking room. I, I was I pulling out my actual credit card. I started feeling bad. I was like, "Fuck, we're gonna maybe have to get we should have to get a room." <laughs> that sounds all right to be honest. Ocean View, <laughs> yeah, she good really for getting sold on the piss. It. I was like, "Fuck, all right." Really sold it, guys. Head to the Gold Coast. It sounds fun. Oh my goodness, that was um, that was a week. Did we just pick up? <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think maybe. I don't know. She was into your charm, bro. <laughs> when you're the like, which room cap. would you prefer? Yeah. yeah. She's uh, like, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Damn, dude. How's the breakfast, though? Extra 200 bucks that for fucking expensive. breakfast? Yes. Because normally they're not that great at most places. They're like continental, just fucking boxes. We don't know where we were staying, to be honest. True. I think it was the Hyatt, maybe. Mm, there you go. Thanks. Shout out to the Hyatt because uh, I will Great be booking there now. Service. Great customer service. Yeah, she put up with a lot. Yeah. She handled it well. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to another amazing episode. Hope you're going to come out and oh, see wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. We should at least read a few. So I put on my Insta story. There's the trend going around with the, um, ah. uh, the, the Urban Dictionary. Okay, let's hear them. Um, and I said, write some for Frenchie and Tom. And I will read them out on the podcast. I don't know if you didn't write any or if they didn't register in time because they might have to get approved mm-hmm. or something. But I went through and I found some anyway. Right, let's hear so them. we'll do Tom's first. There was no Tom Armstrong on Urban Dictionary, but we had a Tim Armstrong. Close enough. It was like the lead singer of maybe like Rancid. The band oh, yeah. Rancid. Punk group. Maybe, yeah. Um, so this is what they wrote. Tim is explaining his life and his thoughts about what he thinks out loud in the voice of music. He was alone. He was a loner when a teenager. Pretty similar. Mm. Hardly had any friends or any money, and music was his only survival. You say Tim Armstrong is a sellout? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Well, fuck you, because Tim is punk in his own righteous Thank way. Thank you. Being the fact that he is himself. That's what makes you punk. Yeah, damn right. Oh, maybe he was with the Ramones. Oh. Tim listens to and is friends with the Casualties, the UK subs, and was with the Ramones, hence that they played with them. Now, shut your gobs about the fact that he is or not punk. Or a sellout. He's doing what he loves and he's punk for doing so. He's not a sellout. Doesn't make him punk. Does that not make him not punk? I think not. 
That was in wow. 2004. There must have been some heated shit That's going on. Far out. Tim Armstrong's biggest right, let's stand. Let's hear Frenchie. Frenchie's got a lot. Let's hear it. If you ever see a bigger dick, you're lucky. Taps everywhere he goes and he's going to steal your girl. And I can prove I didn't write this because it was in 2017. Hottest in the party and when he shows up, you know he means business. <laughs> you definitely wrote John, this. <laughs> look at that guy over there getting all the girls. Joe, he's definitely a Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Submitted by Frenchie <laughs> There's one that's Frenchie McGee Okay When a French person puts their finger up to her ass Unprovoked Typically without lubricant as well Oh man Yeah at senior week I got Frenchie McGee And it burned my ass <laughs> I like that There's the banana Frenchie The banana Frenchie The act of oral copulation Whereas a whipped cream tip penis Is thoroughly rubbed through the ass crack of a primate To replicate a banana Then force. No, you don't want to hear the rest of it. What? <laughs> no, I want to hear the rest. And forcefully and painfully fed into the esophagus of any unwilling party to whom <laughs> is unaware that they have been a very bad monkey during copulation. Um, we do that in France. I'm so confused. <laughs> but that, that suits you. That's not me. That's a banana Frenchie. That's you, your banana Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's a bearded Mr. Frenchie, an act of revenge due to unsatisfactory oral sex. The bearded Frenchie. Um, you wish. Uh, it's not a very good one. Frenchie's mum, an attractive older French woman who happens to sleep with all her son's friends. True. Frenchie's mum has it's got, got it going, going on. on. Frenchie, a pervert who's... This must be Tom's. <laughs> a pervert who's turned on by little kids and girls <laughs> who cannot defend themselves. <laughs> Submitted by Tom. That was four upvotes and 75 disvotes, so I think they didn't agree with that. I think they didn't agree with what you did, Frenchie. <laughs> Mr. Frenchie is a gentleman who has fingered a female's genitalia, usually a stripper, and eating McDonald's french fries after without washing his hands. Oh, that sounds like something you do legit. <laughs> You'd suck your fingers after Mr. to get the salt off. Mr. Frenchie prefers seasoning his fries with his fingers by Dion Dion. <laughs> A lot of upvotes, that one. <laughs> there's a sizzling Frenchie. My God, there's so many Frenchies. I <laughs> know. Oh, bro, there was 12 pages of them and there was no Tom Armstrong, only one Tim Armstrong. Guys, submit me some good submit ones. Submit Tom Armstrong, some on uh, UrbanDictionary.com. Sizzling Frenchie is pouring a package of Pop Rocks into a person's anus <laughs> and using semen to activate them. <laughs> that is funny. We got a bit wild last night and I gave her a sizzling Frenchie is the example. I like that one. Um, I think that's pretty much all of them. The rest are just some sort of French ones. You should do that as like a stand-up bit somehow. I used to. Really? Yeah, one of the tools I read out the best definitions of Frenchie. Oh. Uh, yeah. Because those are funny sizzling Frenchie. That's good. I know. I should just do it as a video maybe. Yeah. YouTube video. Well, I've got enough stand up, man. My tools, my show is fucking full. But you got to work ahead, brother. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you got other shows. This isn't your final you're tour, right, John Farnham. <laughs> all um, right, guys. Thanks. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, guys. I was going to say, all right, guys. Thanks. And you said it first. Oh, nice. Don't forget to head to Tom and Frenchie on all socials. Follow us. Um, come see Frenchie on tour, FrenchieComedy.com. I'll be there masturbating if you like the shirt tom is wearing you can find oh, yeah. it at our store spread shirt something i'll put the link up link is in the description we've got yeah. shirts per <gasps> perfect christmas presents shirts hats visors baseball caps the magic socks, bullets magic bullets pingers ab, ab rider pro ketamine heroin oh my gosh dwarfs guys send us some packages we'll open them next week um send them to our po box it's in the description Send us some fun things to eat. And if you're coming to the Adelaide things. show, um, definitely uh, we're excited to see you there. Yeah, Say it's hello. Be fun, man. Say hello. We'll have stories about that next week. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Grab yeah. a granny. Grab a granny. Buy the fanny.